Hey friends, I am Pastor Joe. Today is Wednesday and I have your word for the day. Psalm 23 is a beautiful reminder of the presence and leadership of God in the life of a believer. Although we often think about the psalm, this psalm in times of death, it is often read and talked about at funerals or celebrations of life. This psalm serves as an incredible reminder of how life should be lived. Let me read this. Psalm 23, 1 through 6 says this, The Lord is my shepherd. I have all I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valleys, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessing. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Now, if you watched our weekend services online this week, you know that I broke down this passage of Scripture. If you've yet to watch it, go back and check it out. But for a moment, I want to camp out on an incredible thought. David writes that God lets him rest, that God led him in green meadows and peaceful streams, that God guides him along right paths. So if God guided David along the right paths, how did David wind up in the valley of the shadow of death? See, here's the, here's the hard, difficult, beautiful truth. Even when David walked through the darkest valley, he would not be afraid because God is right there beside him. And the reason why David was not afraid and the reason why God was right there beside him is because God led David into the darkest valley. Read that passage of scripture on your own. Take a look at it in whatever translation you want. The same God that led David into the green meadows and the peaceful streams and guided him down right paths is the very same God that led David through the dark valley. So what does that mean? The reality is this, sometimes the dark valley is the right path for our lives. It's while we're in that dark valley that God shows up and shows off. It's in the dark valley that he protects us and he comforts us while we are in the darkness. So what is the dark valley that you are walking through right now? Does your attitude toward the valley change if while it feels like a wrong path right now, God sees the light at the end of the valley and God says, this is the right path. I'm here. I'm your protector. I'm your comfort. I'm going to lead you through this. See, the same God who led you through the green meadows is not going to abandon you through the dark valley. He loves you and he is with you right now. So don't be afraid. Let the comforting presence of Jesus surround you today. If today's word for the day has blessed you, apply it, like it, share it, or leave a comment. God bless.